first oversight hearing of the 118th Congress. Last Congress, we held more than... Senator Graham uh, basically challenged me, uh, and I accept the challenge, uh, to show as much concern about the gun deaths, to show as much concern about fentanyl deaths in this country, and I want to do that. He noted, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that the number one cause of death, people 18 to 45, is drug overdose. I don't know if it's fentanyl specifically, but a drug overdose. Uh, and I, I know that reality. But the number one cause of death to children under the age of 18 is gun violence in America, too. We can do both. We must do both. So let's address the fentanyl issue for a minute. Senator, I agree with both you and uh, Senator Graham with respect to how horrible this situation is. I have personally met uh, with the families of uh, uh, children and teenagers and young adults and uh, even the elderly who have taken these pills, um, uh, often thinking that they're taking Adderall or uh, oxycodone uh, or Percocet, a prescription drug, but when in fact it is filled with fentanyl. Um, and as the DEA administrator's uh, testimony uh, demonstrated, uh, six out of 10 of those pills are a fatal dose it's a horrible epidemic. It kills more people than car wrecks <clears throat> and gun violence combined. And the question is, what are we going to do about it? Uh, under current law, fentanyl loses its Schedule One status by the end of the year. You oppose that, I, I assume? I certainly do. Fentanyl, all fentanyl-related um, okay. um, drugs should be scheduled. Do you permanently support mandatory schedule? minimums for people dealing in fentanyl? I think we already have mandatory minimums for people. Do you think they in? should be increased? Um, I, I think we, are, we have more than enough um, ability now to uh, attack this problem. Well, would you agree with me? Whatever we have is not working. Well, I, Whatever I, we're doing is not working. I, I agree with that because of the number of deaths yeah, that you so, pointed out. So, so the, just keep an open mind that what we got on the books is not working. Uh, somebody gave a uh, candy-shaped pill full of fentanyl. <clears throat> Could they be charged with murder? Well, they, they can be uh, charged with uh, drug trafficking leading to death. I don't know. I don't think the statute says murder, okay. but it does say um, sp yep. specifically aims at that. We have brought prosecutions. Yeah. I know having discussed so, this with uh, the U.S. Attorney in Colorado and the U.S. Attorney in the Southern District of New York. So Senator Cotton's got a proposal to dramatically increase the penalties associated with uh, fentanyl. I'd like to work with you and the chairman if we could to find a bipartisan solution to this problem to create deterrence that doesn't exist.